Hi, and welcome to our series on IGCSE Economics. This is Unit 2, Part 6. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about externalities. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Externalities, this is the spillover effects of consumption or production. They affect others, and can be positive, or negative. Let's start with some definitions before anything else. Private benefit, this is the rewards to individuals or firms of an economic activity such as consumption or production. Private cost, this is the cost of an economic activity to individuals and firms. Social benefit, this is the benefit of an economic activity to society, as well as to the individual or firm. Social cost, this is the cost of an economic activity, to society as well as the individual or firm. First, let's look at negative consumption externalities. A good example of this is antibiotic resistance. Looking at on a graph, we can see that the market is demanding too much of a good. In this case it is antibiotics, and is used commonly in farming. The socially optimal use of antibiotics is much lower to combat antibiotic resistance. Government policies proposed to preserve future antibiotic effectiveness could include educational campaigns, regulation, and patents. Next, let's look at negative production externalities. A good example of this is, air pollution. Looking at it on a graph, we can see that the market is producing too much of a good. In this case it is air pollution from burning fossil fuels. This activity causes damages to crops, materials, historic buildings, and public health. The socially optimal amount of air pollution is much lower. Government policies proposed to reduce air pollution could include limits on output and taxes to include the cost of the pollution into the cost of the good. Now, let's look at positive production externalities. An example of this is a beekeeper who keeps the bees for their honey. A side effect or externality associated with such activity is the pollination of surrounding crops by the bees. The value generated by the pollination may be more important than the value of the harvested honey. Looking at it on a graph, we can see that the market is producing too little of this good. In this case we want more beekeeping. Government policies proposed to increase beekeeping could include tax breaks or subsidies. Lastly, let's look at positive consumption externalities. An example of this is vaccinations. An individual receiving a vaccination for a communicable disease not only decreases the likelihood of the individual's own infection, but also decreases the likelihood of others becoming infected through contact with the individual. Looking at it on a graph, we can see that the market is consuming too little of this good. In this case we want more vaccinations to stop diseases. Government policies proposed to increase this could be to offer free vaccinations. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.